Welcome to Golf Tips. My name is Trevor Moore, teaching professional with the Advantage Golf Academy at Cottonwood Cooley Golf Course. And I want to talk a little bit today about setup positions as you prepare to hit shots. And this is a pre-swing component, but it's, it's one that a lot of people struggle with and they don't quite understand what should happen or what they should be aware of. So we're going to look at some pre-shot pieces today. Two specifically, tee height and should you tee it on all tee boxes. So if you're hitting a, an iron shot on a par three, that's a question we get all the time. The other one is positioning the golf ball in your stance, and those are the elements we're going to look at today. Let's start with tee height. If you look down on the ground, you're going to see I have two completely different tee heights. One has a tee on it, but the ball is just snugged right against the grass to the point that you would almost debate whether it is actually even teed. It is, it's just marginally above the grass. The other one is significantly higher, and one of them is an iron tee position. And the other one is for my driver. Now emphasis on my driver because it's relative to the driver you are using. Couple scenarios. With the irons, my suggestion is we always tee up on the tee box. Jack Nicholas said it best, if you're gonna complain about bad lies on the golf course, you lose that right if you don't take advantage of the good lies on the tee boxes when they're given to you. So tee it up on a tee box every time, even on par threes. This is a five iron that I have in my hand here and this ball position it, or uh, tee height, for, sorry, is teed up, but just slightly above the grass. Just giving me a little bit more forgiveness, just ensuring a little crisper contact and making sure I just get under the golf ball without having the, the worry of taking too much turf and hitting it a little heavy. So we always tee it up with irons. Hybrids would be very similar fashion. Tee it up as well, but just get it just above the grass. Very different story though with the driver. With the driver, we want to look at the depth of our club face and the depth of the club face determines how high you need to tee the golf ball. So we want approximately half of the golf ball above the crown or the top of the golf club. That is the general rule of thumb. With a driver, about half the ball above the crown of the golf club. So you can imagine a golf club with a deeper club face, the ball is going to be teed higher. Driver with a shallower club face, it's going to be teed a little lower. Emphasis again on the fact that that's just a general rule of thumb. That's where you base it on. You may personally find that you're comfortable being a little higher or a little lower than that, and that is just fine. But that needs to be your rule to measure with, roughly half above the crown, and then adjust from there to make it yours, and then try to keep it consistent from then forward. But half the ball above the crown with the driver, just snug to the turf with the irons and tee it up all the time on the tee boxes. Let's look at ball position. Second element of the setup when it comes to a golf ball. We want to look at the driver ball position first. I'm going to use this white stick to show you where the ball is positioned within my stance. And the idea being that when I'm hitting my driver, we want to have that golf ball positioned basically in line with my front heel. Okay, so the ball is in line with my front heel with my driver. So it's definitely forward in my stance, and that's an important piece. Helps us catch it a little bit on the upswing. It helps us a little bit more time to square the club face as well. It's a little different story though when we're dealing with that five iron. I want that five iron ball position to be placed a little more to the left of center in my stance so that it's just in sort of roughly in line with my knee. So slightly in line with the knee or slightly inside the center position. And as the shots get shorter and we get closer to the green, we start moving the golf ball closer to the middle of the stance which is where we're going to want to see it with wedges. So just to review that, driver by the front foot, as the shots get longer, or shorter, pardon me, the ball creeps closer to the center of the stance so that we finish in about the center with our wedges. T height, halfway above the crown. Five irons, mid irons, long irons when teeing up, just above the turf. Focus on those two setup elements and you'll find it'll improve the quality of your shots the quality of your contact. See you next week.